Hey Virgo, welcome back to your weekend love reading. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like and subscribe button. And if you would like to get a personal reading with me, there is a link in the description box below this video where you can book a reading with me. Okay, um, so Virgo, we're going to take a look at the weekend here for love, um, January 13th through the 15th. See what messages there are regarding love and or anything else that might show up for you. Okay, so we're going to start with Friday the 13th. Whoa, Friday is the 13th. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I, did, I had no idea right when I said that I was like whoa okay <laughs> hope it's good hope it's good okay what are the energies for Virgo please be mindful you guys some of the messages you know it may not resonate for you and if it doesn't that's okay come back the next day um, it might not but if it doesn't and there's something there take what fits don't try to force it or anything in those along those lines okay Virgo Let's take a look at Friday. What are the love messages? What's the energy playing out for you on Friday? And this is more predictive. May or may not happen. Okay. Since it's predictive, probably won't resonate. But you'll have to wait and see how that goes. Okay. So. All right. You've got chemistry with someone on Friday. There's a connection. A magnetic attraction to someone or with someone you're currently connecting with. Okay. Chemistry is nice. Chemistry doesn't mean compatibility. It just means two people are on the same energy wavelength. Two people are um, recognizing that there's some type of magnetic attraction or being pulled together by some life force energy. Okay, so there will be a recognition. You could connect with someone over the weekend. You could meet someone and it's like chemistry off the chain, off the charts. Um, but let's take a look and see. Or it's somebody that you're already connecting with or you recognize there's chemistry with someone and vice versa. Okay, what else does Virgo need to know here for Friday? Oh, wow. Ten of Cups. Beautiful. Okay, there's definitely um, a happily ever after situation here. A feeling. It's a feeling because cup energy is all about the emotions. So, and it with it being a ten, this is like completion. Okay. Um a turning point in your love life is happening here um, the energy beginning on friday it may not actually make itself known but the energy is happening here and i also feel like there is someone that could be recognizing that you two have a lot more chemistry perhaps than what they thought okay ten of cups energy is always like contentment um, receiving total love and support on friday from someone that you have a connection with where there's chemistry and you've got to be kidding the high priest just popped out as i was shuffling that's the higher font this is like you're locking into something with someone okay over the weekend i mean as far as love goes like virgo this feels like something you are like yes okay um that ten of cups is like going the distance the high high priest higher font that's like committing to something this is not a running away energy this is uh, for a lot of you it it just kind of feels like um expectations being met expectations being met okay um i feel like as far as a relationship goes if you're not already involved with someone right now there could be somebody who is recognizing that wow we really have a lot in common uh, we have like this this how do you explain chemistry? I mean, it's just very energetic and fluid. And some of you might be getting into a long-term relationship um, over this weekend. Okay. Let's see what else you've got. You also have Taurus. Okay. So look, two of wands, making plans. You're definitely, um, well, somebody at least is at a crossroad here and has come to a crossroad and is actually making a decision about committing to something, to you or committing to the relationship or a relationship whatever kind of relationship that could be romantic it could be a, a work partnership it could be a friendship you know that two of wands energy is always about um i feel like somebody has been waiting for the right time to um, make this decision and there may might also be travel plans um somebody deciding um you know which path to go and, and making plans to travel to connect with you as well okay you could be doing this as well but i just feel like as far as love goes it's screaming it's screaming to me here 
on Friday. You know, the energy also could play out over the weekend, but it's screaming to me on Friday um, that you're partnering up or you're hooking up or connecting with someone where it just is beautiful. It's just a very beautiful connection. Okay, and it's very traditional. So this this could be somebody you connect with who has very traditional values. Um, they might be someone who's old school, or they are they're part of your generation. The hierophant is like conformity. Um, this is also an energy of someone who recognizes there's a connection, and you know there's a lot of love here, and wants to, or is making a decision to go the distance in a relationship here. I just want to get one more card. For you okay yeah another two so definitely um somebody's making a compromise as well or coming to this place where i feel like they've trusted their intuition and there is um a decision here being made okay and i also feel like there's someone who's been oh god they just gave me such an old song uh, waiting for a girl like you or waiting for a guy like you, Farner, okay? I should have asked you to name it, but sh feel free to post the uh, lyrics in the comments or in the chat, okay? They just gave me that. How's it go? I've been waiting for a girl like you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. That song just, just came to me. So I feel like that's what the energy is here. Somebody's been waiting for you to come along. A girl or guy, masculine or feminine, doesn't matter. And here it is. Here it is. Um, all right, Friday looks lovely. Okay, if this isn't actually, because I want to just tell you, there's no physical action happening here. Okay, um, the two of two of wands this is that the wands are a card of action. However, there's no movement with the two of wands. This is kind of like standing at the crossroads. So I feel like this is more of an energy of a realization. Someone's coming to realize on Friday, or you coming to realize realize on Friday that wow, there's actually more here than uh, I thought, or there's more here than I expected, and um, it's beautiful. It's just it's a lovely way to start the weekend. Okay, so let's take a look at Saturday, Virgo. What's going on for you for Saturday the 14th? Okay, all right, you've got attraction. Beautiful, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So Virgo, I feel like Saturday, um, you're going to be in this, like, let me just stop and smell the roses. Let me just enjoy, um, do what I'm doing. Let me stop seeking. Let me not search for something. Let me just be in my best authentic self and my element. Um, I see you kind of like being in a grocery store, squeezing the, squeezing the cantaloupe. <laughs> and I, I'm just kidding. They're giving me this image of somebody kind of like, I don't know if there's cantaloupe out right now, but whatever you're, you're squeezing the, maybe you're squeezing the Charmin. I don't know. You're standing there and you're just like in your element doing your thing. And I feel like somebody is seeing this or they're watching you or they're seeing you. It doesn't have to be a grocery store, but they're seeing you in your element and they're just tremendously attracted to you on Saturday. They get just, it's like, Oh, wow. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here for you. Oh, wow. Somebody's going to be definitely reaching out. I feel like Saturday, somebody has like a thing, like a crush. <laughs> it's like a child, like kind of crush on you. I feel like somebody is going to be messaging you or reaching out to you. Um, let me see what kind of message they're going to say. Something along the lines of, do you want to get together? Do you want to go do something or um, start up like a, a really... Hmm, they're giving me enthusiasm with this page of wands. Um, creative ideas also showing up here. There could be conversation about some creative ideas. Uh, there could be um, something to do with a child who's very active or a new project. Or it's just this someone who's really super excited and comes over and talks to you. Or um, sends you a text or there's a message with the page. Always makes me feel like something written. So there could be a text, possibly a phone call. Somebody very attracted to you and wants to talk to you. Okay. So we have the Eight of Swords and the Magician and the Death card. Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, this feels to me like whoever this person is who's reaching out to you, Virgo, um, this person's a bit of an introvert. They may, they might also be someone who is, um, maybe some, uh, self-esteem stuff. Um, there could be some shyness, um, or someone who is, uh, it just kind of feels like coming out of their comfort zone, um, to reach out to you. Okay. Um, this person, 
Yeah, they're, they're often imprisoned by their thoughts. This, this person tends to feel like um, nothing ever works out for them or it's not possible. Um, it, but there's such a huge shift. I feel like um, this person, um, so we have Gemini, Virgo, we have Scorpio energy here, as well as Taurus, as I said. I feel like somebody here is coming out of some kind of restriction, restricted environment or... Um, it also feels like somebody doing something spontaneous where, for example, um, they're in a place where it would not be um, like how they reach out to you or how they call you. It's 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 kind of like out of the blue. It's like uh, an inappropriate, I don't want to say inappropriate. I just kind of feel like the action doesn't fit the environment, right? So <laughs> they just gave me, okay. <laughs> All right, I'll just give you the image that they're giving me. Like you're, you're in the... <laughs> you're in the bathroom you're in the stall and and somebody like reaches underneath and hands you their phone number i mean i don't even know what the hell that is but it just showed up to me like that in my like the image that i received it's it's like an inappropriate thing and it just kind of comes it, it's spontaneous it just kind of comes out of the blue the phone call or the message or you know uh, someone coming up to you and talking to you it's like whoa um okay so the magician with the death card i feel like someone is here um showing up trying to create some magic and bring some life back to a dead end situation that's just that and that could be this person uh, maybe you had a situation with someone before in the past um or you connected with someone and it didn't go anywhere and now this person is uh re trying to make that reconnection with you okay something trying to bring yep bring some life to something that ended or something that died okay or just didn't go anywhere and i feel like somebody is like i said tremendously attracted to you and saturday you're gonna hear something from someone um i'm hearing can we you know that maybe some of you connected with someone on a dating site or you met someone and you guys had made plans or you were hanging out for a little bit and something didn't happen or it didn't go anywhere and now boom a new start there's a new beginning here okay virgo hmm i thought anything else was going to come up but it feels like it's all love all right let's take a look at sunday sunday one of sunday's messages for virgo now understand this could be two separate energies um friday could be uh, one person and Saturday could be somebody else or it could be the, the just all together one person you'll have to see how that plays out let me see show Virgo Sunday's messages oh okay Sunday you have released your ex well Virgo that's interesting the time has come to clear your energy hmm so uh, I don't know if you're gonna actually do release somebody um, you could have already released somebody and you're just getting rid of whatever extra photos you had or bringing them their records back. Who knows? Um, this is more of an uh, energetic release, okay? Um, and for some others, you could be actually making a decision to release someone because you're meeting somebody new over the weekend. All right, let's see. Tell us more for Virgo about Sunday, okay? Yeah, look at you, Virgo. Um, hmm. You're definitely going after that ninth cup. It's like the, my work here is not finished. I feel, Virgo, you're in this position on Sunday where there's a lot of gratitude for everything that you have and not for the things you don't have. I feel like you are, you've been working hard. I feel like um, you've been attaining things that give you emotional satisfaction in your life. Okay, every cup has been a blessing. I feel like you've been looking at your blessings that you ha that have been gracefully given to you maybe over the past eight years nine years whichever um and i feel like you're focusing now especially on sunday on the blessings did i just snort oh my gosh did i just snort please forgive me if i did <sighs> What's wrong? So the Eight of Cups, definitely. You're like, yeah, the blessings keep coming in. Virgo, and there's another one off in the distance, and it's coming. It's definitely coming. And for a lot of you, this is, you know, releasing that X is actually opening you up to receiving blessings. Okay. Let me see here. Oh, okay. Hello, King of Swords. How are you? Been a minute since you've been here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Okay. Why is the King of Swords here? King of Swords is very strategic. Air sign. 
very talkative, can be very witty and on point with things. Um, maybe a little less emotional, but um, still has emotions nonetheless. Okay, wow. And there's you, Virgo, Queen of Pentacles and the King of Swords. You know, um, if it's a Gemini, then you do have something in common with this person as far as planets go, um, because you're both ruled by Mercury. There will be, um, I feel like this might be somebody new you're connecting with. And um, for those of you where that energy is playing out, there will be a, a very strong mental connection with this person. Okay, um, good communication between two people. Um, now, for some of you, if this is your ex that you are moving away from, um, they could be an air sign, um, sun, moon, rising, or Venus. They could they could be other sign as well, but there's air in there somewhere. Let me see. Okay. So, okay. You either have um, an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an air sign who um, wants to have some type of reconciliation with you. Um, this person also uh, thinking about the past connection and the kindness connected to you because the Six of Cups is sitting here on the queen or masculine version of Virgo. So I do feel like, Virgo, um, for those of you who have someone new, I feel like one thing that somebody might be showing up and noticing about you is a very kind, sincere heart. Okay, um, you're a giver, Virgo, and that is something that somebody new coming in sees about you. Okay, and some of you might have been waiting for someone to come in and, and just appreciate that aspect of you and to let you know. Um, for others, there is an air sign who's letting go of an X and is um, coming back to you because the Eight of Cups can be a card of um, return as well. So yeah, you know, or it's a earth sign returning back to you. There's definitely an energy on Sunday overall of a letting go and then a reconciling kind of thing. Okay. And before I get you all confused with 8 million different messages that are coming through, I just want you to know that somebody or some energy is going to show up, whether it's a past person or somebody new, um, after a, a releasing happens you know so some of you might be doing a cord cutting um ceremony on sunday or uh, just doing something where you're looking at of being very happy with all you've acquired in your life emotionally that fulfillment um and letting just letting go letting go of someone from your past Having them return, it is Mercury retrograde, and or having someone new come in as you're releasing, okay? And a lot of you too, I just want to say, um, you might be also during this retrograde, and especially on Sunday, um, reminiscing about someone in the past, um, but letting them go and looking forward. Um, you know, there is a return of uh, revisiting of past relationships for a lot of people, you or another person, but also looking out into the future and the horizon and um, maybe finding some gratitude for having had the connection with someone and then, you know, l saying to yourself, you know, uh, that situation may not have been, uh, I mean, there's a reason for the release, but at the same time, there might have been some blessings in that that helped you have your growth. So I feel like Sunday is going to be, a, there's a lot of re-release, return, reconciliation. There's a lot of like reflection um, and, and just maybe dipping your toe back into the past, not staying stuck back there, but it's happening to not just you, Virgo, it's happening to a lot of people. Okay, so there's definitely that energy. Let me also see. I want to bring up and give you a qualifier. See, what is your Chinese sign? Chinese sign for Virgo, Virgo sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Okay, so we have year of the dog. We have rooster. Uh, rooster again is here. Um, year of the monkey. Year of the rat. Year of the dragon double dragon year of the tiger 
um, year of the ox and year of the pig okay so that could be you could be the other person might be none of you but mostly I was looking for you if it's not you don't worry about it it doesn't mean it's not your message all right I just want to get an overall message from the island time cards here let's see overall message for Virgo overall message for Virgo something Virgo needs to know heart with a key okay welcoming love meeting the one opening your heart getting together with someone and finding or experiencing or opening your heart to someone who's perfect for you not someone who's perfect but perfect for you okay um, so the overall message for this weekend looks like it's a releasing all right let me see what your messages of love are coming here for the weekend for Virgo messages of love for Virgo what message of love does Virgo need to have or need to experience or know okay got a twin flame there's a divine counterpart connection okay some of you might have been asking if you were in a twin flame relationship or if it was a soulmate spirit is saying it's a twin flame okay and you also have passion try something you've never done before Virgo I feel like this is a, a weekend of risk for sure i feel like for some of you your twin flame might be returning over the weekend let's see physical features this could be you or the person uh or another person let's see all right somebody has a mustache look at that mustache wow um somebody has red hair okay somebody wears glasses okay somebody is of average weight we also have someone that has brown eyes. We have someone who is muscular. Okay. Someone's got that man bun. Man, that man bun. Look at this dude. <laughs> Little Jason Momoa there. Okay. Someone that has very beautiful long hair. Let's see. someone that has curly hair hey, these are so much fun okay we also have brown hair did I say brown hair I said brown hair and brown eyes one more all right somebody's got a mohawk okay all right one more also blonde hair wait I can't stop I just can't dun, 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 um all right no that's enough okay Virgo let's see if we can pick up some names for you names for virgo for the weekend pick up give virgo some names i just heard harry okay i just heard harry and now i'm hearing belinda or melinda okay cc hearing cc oh there's the h okay um somebody's name starts with an h i'm also picking up charlie or chuck or uh yeah charlie or chuck char let me see share maybe also um okay so many seems starts with a k um I, I, okay they're giving me the letter e someone's name starts with an e All right, now they're giving me an I, the letter I. All right, all right. So, okay, they're saying uh, the letter Y. Someone's name, initial, letter Y. Okay. Um, let me see if there's any other messages here I can get for you. These intuitive messages. Okay, somebody has a red coat, wears a red coat, or they're they're from, or they're Britain, British, British, <laughs> British. Um, okay, so they're giving me that a movie or a tale called The Sword and the Stone. Um, I don't know if you watch that. Or if you haven't seen that, that you need to watch that or read that tale, The Sword and the Stone. 
All right, they're just giving me the name Allie. Okay. And uh, somebody has plat platinum, like, not blonde, it's, it's white, white hair, white. It's not, there's no yellow tones to it. It's completely white, white hair. Uh, like, so either they're of um, um, older age, where the hair has gone completely white, or they have um, bleached it and took absolutely all the color out of it. Okay. And let's see. It could be you. It could be, you know, just remember uh, these initials and these names. It could be you. It could be the other person. You'll know it'll resonate for you. And, um, uh, uh, they're just saying, okay, that they're saying, tell Virgo that they, that we think Virgo is very unique, quite unique, something very special and unique about you. Um, something, it could be like a special placed birthmark or a mole, um, or, or just, it, there's something uncommon about something about you that cannot be replicated. I don't know if that's a physical thing or if that's a personality thing or, um, it's just you're memorable, they're saying, um, by the way you, just something very special and memorable about you that nobody else has or you've, like you, it's so, you're so special, Virgo, you don't even have a doppelganger. <laughs> like, there is no one else like you. Uh, they're just, I don't know who's saying that, but I'm just getting that message right now. I'm just hearing that. And okay, Virgo, hey, run with it. All right, you've got Virgo, you have Pisces, Gemini, and Leo. Okay, um, let's see, somebody is 52, someone is 28, someone was born August 25th. Okay, mm, September 8th, September 12th, September 9th, September 7th, September 11th. Um, see 2009 is ringing very strongly for me somebody's also 58 um 2009 a very significant time period for someone okay cancer is showing up virgo again leo and gemini again okay so they're giving me three numbers 248 um Hmm, somebody lives at 178, it's like an address. Um, 2010, very significant time period. Someone, um, they're giving me 1987. Okay, and also somebody's connecting with, there's a connection with the Sagittarius, I'm just hearing. Birth date, December 12th, or 2nd, maybe it's the 2nd through the 12th. Someone's birthday falls in, uh, falls in between there. Okay. All right, just to let you know, that fell on September 11th. Okay, I think I said that already, but maybe that's significant for someone that they needed to hear that. Okay, Aquarius is here, Aries is here. Um, hold on a minute. Taurus is here. I'm missing one. Oh, and Cancer again. Okay. Let me just get a couple more. Um, they're just giving me um, the number 173. I'm getting 910. 118. Um, August 23rd. Significant. Um, 1985. Somebody's favorite number is six. Six represents harmony. That's the lovers. Appreciation, self-sacrifice, loyalty, and responsibility. Okay. Or the number six is relevant to someone. A couple more. All right. Scorpio, Sagittarius. There, I said it. Leo and Taurus. Okay. So, yeah, Virgo, interesting reading. Um, I hope that, you know, all the good parts about it shows up for you over the weekend. That will be really, really, really great. Because I know a lot of you are looking to make that connection with someone. And I hope that you do. 
And uh, if you don't, hey, congratulations to the others who have that weekend prediction come true for them. But remember, Virgo, at the end of the day, it's all about you and your growth and your healing. So if you're taking this weekend to do a little release uh, ceremony of some sort, uh, even if that's writing, doing something creative to release, um, whatever it is that you're doing, take advantage of it during the Mercury retrograde. Allow those things to come in. Allow yourself to do that self-evaluation. Try not to spend too much time evaluating other people. Focus on you and um, your weaknesses and areas that you need to improve. Okay, you don't need to change. You're wonderful, just like that message came through. You're wonderful just as you are. Um, everybody could use a little tweaking and improvement in their lives. So if you're able to do that over the weekend, because none of this happens, that it's still a plus. It's still a win-win. All right, Virgo. Love you guys very much. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you back here Sunday evening, uh, January 15th, 1030 p.m. Eastern. Make sure you show up. I'll see you then. Bye.